Hi, I'm Deborah. I'm Quality Handover Manager for Level Partnerships and in today's video I'm going to take you through some of the key points that you need to know about your new home. Starting with the exterior, here are the few things that you need to know. We recommend that you clean out your gutterings approximately once every 12 months. That alleviates any blockages. Another key point on the exterior of your home is that you have two meter boxes. One is gas and one is electric. If ever you smell gas, you need to go to the meter box with the key that you're given and you can turn off the gas by pushing or pulling the lever. If you have turf in your home, please try and keep off it for the first six weeks. This will help the turf to settle. Also, if it's dry weather conditions, please remember to water the turf. And for the first cut, don't cut it too short. We focused on the outside of your property. Now I'd like to bring you inside and show you some of the key points in your new home. Shrinkage, which is micro-cracking in walls, is just a natural part of drying out of the home. And as long as it's not more than the rim of a pound coin, that's fine and natural and normal. If you do have any micro-cracking or shrinkage, what we recommend is that you fill it with a filler, rub it down, and you can use the pot of paint that we give you to touch it up. We recommend that you don't decorate your house for about nine to 12 months after you've moved in, just to allow your home to naturally dry out. I'll just demonstrate the windows to you. You can open them to have a small amount of ventilation and that there is in a shut position where nobody can get in However, there will be still air circulating throughout the room. You just pull the handle up and open the window fully. On the bottom, there's a press button. You press it and you can move the window inwards. There's another one at the top. You press that one and you pull the window across. And this is to be, enable you to wash the windows without having a ladder outside. There's no need to try and push the window back. Grab the handle and that automatically corrects itself and enables you to close it again. Some windows have trickle vents. We recommend that you keep these open as much as you can to allow the air to circulate around your home. This is one of the room thermostat types that we fit within our level homes. For your exact make and model, please refer to your handover pack. However, this is where you would program your heating to come on and off and the temperature that you would like the room thermostat to be set at. Don't forget you've got TRVs, thermostatic radiator valves on every other radiator, apart from one that's in close proximity to this room thermostat. This is a typical example of the boilers that we fit within the level homes. However, the models do change slightly, so please refer back to your instructions within your handover pack. You'll notice the dial here. For the boiler to be working properly, it needs to be in the green zone, which is between one and two. This is a little bit low at the moment, so to top the boiler up, there are two little blue valves underneath, taps. You pull them both towards you while still looking at the dial here. Don't allow it to go over the, the two marker. Reset both of these taps and that's your boiler topped up. Moving on to the loft space. We don't recommend that you store any materials or items in the loft space. The reason for this is because there's insulation there. The insulation is higher than the joists and once the insulation is compressed, that alters the integrity of the insulation. The insulation forms part of your EPC, the Energy Performance Certificate. We're very proud to say that all our homes are a B rating with the Energy Performance Certificate. Also within the attic space, you'll find the aerial cable. 
it's coiled up and it'll be on top of the um, insulation, ready for you to fit your own terrestrial aerial if you so wish. All level homes are fitted with heat sensors, carbon monoxide detectors and smoke alarms. We recommend that you refer back to your handover pack and the manufacturer's instructions just to see what type you have. Some are hardwired, some are battery operated. Please check the handover pack. If your home has a sprinkler system fitted, you will need to have that sprinkler system maintained and serviced once every year by an accredited sprinkler maintenance company. Within your home, you will have extractor fans fitted in cloakrooms, kitchens and bathrooms. Especially if there isn't um, a window within that room, you need to keep these fans on. These fans are trickle fans and they also react with the humidity. Your new home front door has been fitted with a thumb turn. This is for ease of exit in an emergency. All other doors within your home, you need to lift the handle to turn the key. The under sink cupboard houses the isolation stopcock for the water. You turn it right to isolate it if there is an, an emergency and you need to turn your water off. It also houses the isolation valve for the outside tap if you have one in your home. There are a couple of names for this box. You can either call, call it a fuse board or a consumer unit. This is where you turn off your electric. The red switch is the main switch. You pull that down and all the electric in your home is isolated. Therefore, there's no electric in your home. The NHBC recommend that you test the, the circuits once every three months. You will see quite clearly marked RCD controlled circuit. There's a button on the top. You press each one individually and they will turn off the electrics either downstairs or upstairs. Once you have tripped the RCD controlled circuit, please remember to push the switch back up so that you resume the current electric within that circuit, whether it be the upstairs or the downstairs circuit. A couple of useful tips for the kitchen. You'll need to set the clock on the oven and stop it flashing before you use it. As you can see, the, the oven light is flashing. To set your oven, you press the middle button. That is now set and your oven will now operate. The oven has come straight from the manufacturer and it's co coated with um, a protective coating. Before you cook in the oven, turn it to the highest temperature, close it and allow that to bake off for about 20 minutes. Hi, we're in the bathroom. Got a pro tip for you. This is the silicon seal that goes around the bath. It also goes around showers. It will need to be checked periodically and it will need to be replaced. This is the thing that keeps your bath and shower watertight. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. We've now covered all the key information that you need to know about your property. For continued support, we have a dedicated customer care team and also an emergency out of hours helpline. Details of both of these can be found within your handover pack. As a company, we are passionate about delivering exceptional experiences for our customers. And with that, we invite you to complete two brief NHBC surveys regarding your level experience.